It is a too, too strong world, but anyway, I'm part of it. The internet is a collaborative effort. All the people call, well, voluntarily collaborate to have the network in, in place. I, I was involved in the network in, in Brazil since the very beginning. Uh, I worked for an institution where the first uh, internet connection was made. In <coughs> uh, uh, We began with academic network in 88. But uh, initially with BitNet and then HEPNet. HEPNet uh, stands for High Energy Physics Network. It's a network based on DECnet, an old uh, proprietary protocol. Then uh, in 89, we, we <coughs> get the .br delegated to the Brazilian uh, initiative. Uh, and we connected to the internet in 91. When uh, our connection point in the US, the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, uh, went to, to the Internet, joining the ESNet, Energy Science Network, at that time. Then uh, from, from uh, 91 to now, we, of course, we saw the Internet growing more and more, and the other networks disappearing. Mm -hmm. Then all, all the, 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 what we have now is, is the, the Internet. It's, it's a very powerful net. And What I can say is, uh, in the late uh, late 80s, for example, in, in most part of the world, there was a commitment from the governments and the telecom uh, agency or so to stick to the OSI uh, protocols, the ISO OSI protocols from, at that time, CC, uh, CCITT, then uh, changed it to ITU. Then it was really a, a difficult time or a struggle to to make a TCPIP to prevail because there was a commitment, for, a commitment from the governments to, to, to <coughs> go ahead with the, the uh, ISO <coughs> uh, stake. But anyway, we will we'll, we'll in some way prove that uh, the TCPIP was a, a, a real solution, a better solution at that time, and we get the, the pro providers and the operators to, to begin to offer this kind of service. And this was really a, a, a important change toward the, the, the Internet, because otherwise we would have some kind related to the, to the telco regulators and so on and so Okay, I'm a very bad prophet. I never know <laughs> where the things will go, but I'm surprised at them. I keep, keep being surprised all the time with the, 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 the energy and the, the, and the stability and the uh, possibility to grow the Internet showed all, all this time. Uh, in the beginning, we, we had a, a network basic in text, basically. And then in 92, 93 in Brazil, the web became a reality. The, the web brings a, a, a lot of new users to the network with all the, 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 the family photos and the, the photos of the dogs and the other things. It was a, to a totally different thing. But in, in some way, the, the initial concepts survived and the Internet could evangelize the newcomers to the, 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 their own principles. It was very good. Then in some way, the network defends itself against the, the, the uh, ideas that is not uh, compatible with their concepts. And now we were seeing more and more videos and other, other media. Uh, I, I suppose more than half of the traffic is not related anymore to email or to text, but uh, to video and entertainment. We saw, so it's also in Brazil that uh, entertainment is a good part of the traffic in the Internet. And we expect this to, to <coughs> keep growing because the, 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 the bandwidth is more or less cheap now with fi optic fibers. They, they provided a very good compromise between uh, price and, and bandwidth and service. And we have the, the computer power growing uh, each year. Uh, and then, then you, can, you can have both of, of the best uh, uh, faces of the, the coin. You have the, the growing in the bandwidth and growing computer uh, power, then I, I think we will see the internet growing more and more, and giving power to, to the to the common citizen, to the people. The the internet, in some ways, kind of rupture. Uh, 
if you look to the all the old structures and all uh, economical models and so then uh, in, in in this way internet represents also a threat to the status quo in many in many uh, network uh, uh, in many business uh, uh, operations and so then of course the the, the well established status quo uh, so in some way fears the the internet and there are some threats uh, uh, to, that the internet has faced in these years. Uh, we expect, of course, that the internet will survive to these threats, keeping their, their original uh, uh, concepts of uh, in inclusiveness, of openness, of, of being a collaborative effort with voluntary uh, <coughs> inclusion of everyone that wants to be there. But, of course, we have to take care about uh, the, the, the threats and the risks we are running right now. And we are all struggling to, to keep the internet as it was and it is now. I think that the, what we have to do now is to, to <coughs> make the, the awareness of that bigger and bigger to the, all the people. Uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, events that is related to internet governance. We will have in this month in Brazil the Net Mundial. This is also an, an event that will discuss uh, principles uh, to, to, in some way to protect the internet and also a road map for the ecosystem. And we will expect to have good results from that meeting. And I suppose the best way to protect the Internet is to explain uh, the Internet to all the people and, 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 and show. But it's easy for them to understand the, the, the qualities and the, the possibilities the Internet brings. But in some, some cases, they cannot understand the, the governance thing, how, how something like the Internet that is a multi-stakeholder, it's not dependent on governments or, or regulators, can grow in such a, a good way then I suppose our, our mission is to keep this in the right track.